Oh, do you want to check out my house? Let's take a little break and try again, all right? Got a bad feeling about this. Well now, who might hmm. you be? Ah, uh, that's right. You're the ones Nick was talking about. New in town, aren't you? No. Ugh. In that case, you ought to know better than to interrupt a busy chef. Hmm? I can leave. No, no, I don't mind. Could use someone to talk to anyway. Then again, I sense you're not much of a chatterbox. You... Is this some kind of a soup kitchen here now? It definitely is. Well, I feel like I've never walked around my own house that well. I don't even know where my bed would be anymore. You hungry? Now don't you go picking on them. Those poor folks have got it hard enough already. Mako poisoning? Yep. I'm no expert, but seems to me that there's two types of it. Hmm. Or maybe two types of patients? We give them sponge baths sometimes, and that's when I first saw. Lots of them have these number tattoos. That, and needle marks on their arms. Hmm. At least I think they are. Although, we do get the odd one that doesn't seem to have either. Oh. Wait. That makes it three types, then. Or four? What needle marks? From their treatments, if I had to guess. Treatments? And the numbers. Got any idea what they mean? Not a clue. Certainly gets the gears in your head turning, though, doesn't it? I mean, Shinra's obviously not making this place as a Mako poisoning research station out of the kindness of their heart. They're trying to... I was under the impression they made these people. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I Where the hell did these people come from? Needle marks? Treatments? I would lean towards experimentations. Like, it's the reason why they're the way they are right now. And the number tattoos. Well, they needed a way to keep track of them somehow, I guess. Huh, so people... Some of them have needle marks. Some of them have tattoos. Some of them have neither. Maybe someone was really bad at organization and didn't do it properly. On the Shinra research side, they forgot to label some of them. <laughs> they say I'm always gossiping. No secret safe with me unless I sing. Bloody blah, blah, bloody, bloody blah. Oh, how I love to spill the tea. Wow, okay, that was. Nice song. <laughs> As I said, there seem to be two types of those black-robed folks. Most have these numbers tattooed on them somewhere, but a few have what look like needle marks dotting their arms as well. Of course, there are those that don't have any such oddity on them at all. Wait, did I say two types just now? Or three? Or four? Or... <laughs> <laughs> So there's... Hold on. You're saying that a lot of the... The majority type seems to be they have a number tattoo and no needle marks. Okay, so they were already like this without having the needles in them. So the needles were not what made them this way. La, 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 la. My cooking's like no other. La, 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 la. Thanks to my dear old mother, God rest her soul. Good lord, lady, we're gonna get a copyright strike with your dulcet tones. Oh, uh, hello. Sorry, but we're busy trying to make food for all the patients. Yeah, it's a soup kitchen. They say I'm always gossiping. No secret safe with me unless I sing. Bloody blah, blah, bloody, bloody blah. What's this guy doing in here? How I love to spill the tea. Yeah, he just sort of transformed my house, and this guy's just chilling out in the back. I didn't hear what he was saying earlier. Can I say something else? 
I just oh, love our head chef. She about. always keeps We're things interesting around here. Well, that, that's right. He does. Well, this isn't my house anymore, either way. What about Tifa's? Why is Snaps in my hometown? My god. Where's Chadley? What? Why is Chadley not in Nibelheim? Boy, my boy, where are you? Where are you? I feel... Wait, now I feel really insecure. Where are you? <laughs> where... Why is Chadley not here? Oh. Slowly now. Breathe in. Hey, man. So that's me. And out. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. Say, why don't you and those robed folks pose for a photo? Wow. This guy is incredibly it turns insensitive. Out that Shinra's in charge of the treatment facilities here. Getting permission to take pictures was not easy. All my photos will be reviewed. And if Shinra sees something they don't like, it's theirs. Just gotta impress those suits with some nice shots. If you find a good photo spot, don't hesitate to let me know. And they don't tell you to leave? They only tell me to leave? Okay. Oh, the yoga lady is still here. But the, the turnout's a little bit different now, huh? Oh, I was just moving the camera. I wanted you to so do yoga. Yeah. Just head to toe stretches. Just relax. You're all right. Nothing in the back. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm done with this. Hey, Yuffie. How's it going? Looks like the reactor's not too far. Hey, Cloud. Ever been up there before? Yeah. Oh? Then give me the skinny. What was it like? Was there buttloads of Mako? There was. What about, say, oh, Materia? Now lift your heels. Hold it. Hold it. This is just a straight up answer. I don't know what she wants. Yep. Some of them even form naturally. No way! Naturally? Oh man, you got my mouth watering! Ew. <laughs> what are we waiting for? That materia needs me! What are we waiting for? That materia needs me! We're waiting to figure out what was going on upstairs in the hotel because I saw Zack! Let's take a little break and try again, alright? Tifa, oh, the, the piano is still here. Hold up. There's a quest here as well. Esoteric Secrets of the Elders, the Chocobo Sage. Chocobos are lovely creatures, but they can be a handful if you don't know how to if you don't know the proper techniques. I offer personal training tailored to your specific needs. Uh, this, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Sign up now for a special course at my retreat, which includes three meals, afternoon naps, and a luxurious pool open all hours of the day. It sounds extremely dodgy. Wait, what about the town hall here? No need to wear yourself out. Let's rest. The services we provide here are strictly for the benefit of our residents. Oh, hey, man. Oh, that terminal. I understand this must be confusing for you, but I don't know anything either. I just go where the company tells me, that's it. Yeah, these are just Shinra employees. So, what's the story here exactly? Because for a cat, he has an awfully high level of clearance. It's more than a little suspicious. No average employee should be able to access what he can. Well, you should stop looking over his shoulder then, because you don't have access. I under I just go where the company tells me that's Does it. he even know? Does this guy even know that Nibelheim was burned down five years ago? Gonna need a smidge more time. Okay. Why not visit some of your old haunts while you have the chance? You never know. You might remember something nice. Oh, I don't know. Gonna need a smidge more time. <laughs> oh. Unfortunately, we're not in a My mom to needs to move in with me. I know you allow that for immediate family. Like I told you before, by the time we finish running our mandatory background check, your term here will already be up. 
They background check everyone who comes here. Okay. Uh, this area is off limits to civilians. This is the deputy commissioner's office. You're definitely not allowed back here. You gonna kick me out? Actually, you know what? I'll just pretend I didn't see anything. That way I can go home on time. <laughs> I don't think even the employees know what they do here. They just sort of chill out and stare at some black robes all day long. What? You! You don't happen to be a card player, do you? It's no use denying it. You're slacking off because you want to play Queen's Blood. Because you're just like me. <laughs> I won't tell if you won't, comrade. The name's Turner, the top truant. I say, screw working. I'm all about playing hooky. You'd be hard-pressed to find anyone who's better at it than me. I don't give a damn about demotions. Prepare yourself! Why are you even working here, then? Hmm. God, the lady's been talking in the back the whole time. But this is the only Shinra soldier we've seen in the whole village. Where are your colleagues? Your soldier colleagues. Um... If freed this early... Yeah, okay. Raise power by two for each other enhanced ally card. That'll be good to match with the Chocobo and Moogle. Which we can place down immediately. What's that? When first enfeebled, raise the power of allied cards by four. We gotta be careful about that. We got two arch dragons. Can put down a titan like this, or I can put down a. Yeah, but then they're gonna take the spot later, probably. It's okay. I'll I'll put down the every. Wait. Hmm. I need to actually get stuff enhancing first though, like right now I'm just putting it down, but okay, you know what, I will. Wait, wait, wait. This will be a way better moving forward kind of hand. So they took the spot. That's okay. Well, I'm not moving forward at all. Is that okay? That part isn't okay. <laughs> haven't put much effort into moving forward here. I need more stuff aside from the Crystalline Crab that enhances, because otherwise Ifrit and Chocobo Mo Moogle aren't doing anything here. Okay, now I can do this, but if I do this, they're going to take back the spot. Is that good? But I can inf I can replace the card. If I replace this card... Right now? Should I do it now? When should I do it? I mean, I'll be losing a number, but... I think I need to move forward a little bit. Yeah, let's... let's... Do it. themselves. Where's my Midgard Summer, man? Whoa! 12 on the top! Damn, dude! Oh, wasting a level 3 spot on the Crystalline Grab? Really? Let me hold off on that a little bit. Okay, that bottom card is gonna take over the slots. Yeah, they're, they're pretty much gonna put a card right here, right? After I do that. Well, maybe we'll... See. Midgard Sommer. So I can move forward. I can take the slot back. Mm. I'm thinking I need to use a Crystalline Crab so that my Ifrit and Chocobo Moogle increase in strength. Oh no! Yeah, that was my spot for the Crystalline Crab. Extremely not good. I'll do this.
Put down a level 2 card. Okay, stealing that spot right back. I see. I see how this is. Okay, here we go. Raises power by one. We're just gonna enhance each other. Everyone, just keep enhancing each other. Is that the name of the game today? Nine and three for the Ifrit and Chocobo Moogle. This one's actually even better. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wow. He replaced that really good card he had. Is he crazy? But he took the spot back. So it was a good... It was good for him overall. I'm still winning though. I'm winning on our, all three lanes for now. I can't play any more cards. I didn't even play the Crystalline Crab. Okay, now we're tying on the middle lane. Oh no. What? Did he just make me better? On the top? Well, it depends on the last- he's got one more slot left. Oh god. Okay, okay. We're tied, except for the one empty slot he has. Okay, alright, I'm, I'm still winning. I'm winning somehow. Because he killed his own card? Oh, what? He did all that, but he actually made it so that I... I won. Okay, I, I kind of don't know what happened at the end there, but... Sure, thanks. Valren, raise power by two for each other enfeebled allied card. That was impressive. I didn't think you beat me so easily. When I entered contests on the clock, I always won. Wait. Could you be more of a slacker than me? <laughs> but I devote all my time outside of roll calls specifically to playing Queen's Blood. Oh, I see. You're unemployed. Living the dream. <sighs> no, that's none of my business. You're a bigger fish. That's all. It was an honor to have played with you. I hope I'll have another chance someday. Excuse me, I'm ex-first class soldier. Don't people recognize the uniforms around here? None of them even pay us any respect. Then can I at least get an advance on my salary so I can send her the gills she needs? All contracts are paid out at the end of the term. I can offer you a loan, but... A loan? Yeah, we can't pay you, but if you need money... The services we provide here are strictly for the benefit of It's almost like he's trying to work. <laughs> Maybe he had a similar job in the past. You talking about the robed people? They're trying to work? Interesting. So the one quest we got was... Oh, it's all the way out there. I think we should figure out what's going... Yeah, we'll do a little bit more here first. Uh... Is this still Tifa's house? You certainly don't look ill. Passing through, I take it? If you are feeling unwell, though, you'll have to wait. We need to tend to our current patients first. Actually, I am feeling pretty unwell, if you would like to treat me. Not, they're not even saying words anymore. Uh, don't worry. It'll all be over soon. There. All done. Take care. Is that Tifa's fridge? Oh, I'm feeling kind of hungry. Just the same thing we did yesterday. You're good to go. See you Tifa, well, I guess we both lost our houses, but they kept the, the piano here. We provide checkups, oh, there's another whatever. Queen's Blood here. You might have noticed how some of our patients have number tattoos on their arms. Wait. Oh my god, we're gonna fight a robed guy. <laughs> hey, Tifa. You know... I never understood it. Why'd my dad go into the reactor? Why chase Sephiroth? Thought about it ever since waking up in Corel. It just seemed like such a bad idea. I mean, what did he think he was gonna do? Fight a famous war hero and win? Well, he didn't. But after moving to Midgar, after making a life for myself, I finally realized where my dad was coming from. 
He was angry, and he'd had enough. Everything he'd worked so hard for had been destroyed in an instant. All that he'd built for himself, for us, gone. Sephiroth had burned it to the ground. That's why he went, even though he had to have known how it'd end. I see. And like him, I took my pain, my grief, everything I was feeling. I took it all and turned it into anger. Anger that led me to avalanche. <laughs> the problem is, anger doesn't last. So when avalanche started to become more violent, there wasn't enough left to hold back the fear and the doubt. It was taking a toll. Then you turned up. Didn't you kind of ask me to come help? Have I helped you get through it at all? Yeah, you have. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have had the courage to come back here. A lot's happened, but now that we're here, I know this was the right decision. Because now I know they rebuilt everything, tried to sweep what they did under the rug and pretend it never even happened. But I won't let them. I can't. Sephiroth and his cruelty. Shinra and their lies. I'm sick of all of it. Mm, as opposed to leaving the place burnt down by rebuilding it exactly the way it was, yeah, they're trying to sweep it under the rug and pretend it never happened. Which is, it's a very conscious thing they're trying to do. Hey, remember when we were kids? How you'd, you know, always be looking at me? <laughs> I, uh, what? No? <laughs> no? Every time we made eye contact, you'd look away. And when I tried to talk to you, you'd ignore me. Wow. Not surprised. I was a pain in the ass as a kid. I was the opposite. I needed everyone to like me all the time. Part of me still does, I think. Kinda hate that about myself. These things are a double-edged sword. It's a good thing about you, but it's also a thing to be careful about. Gotta get it together. Gotta get it together. Uh, I feel like we still didn't really resolve our issues though. We're just sort of like going along with it. Haha, <laughs> yeah, things are okay. No, did you have a sheet music or not? No sheet music? Hey, they kept the posters though. Tifa's own posters. Is this still your stuff, Tifa? Kind of looks like it. They just added a few cabinets. Some filing cabinets and stuff. Called it a day. <laughs> I'm not sure why that is myself. Maybe it's to mark ones with different symptoms? Would, would you like to play... Queen's... What? Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, they just took over the whole damn place. What? No, Dale. Leave the man alone. I can play Queen's blood with you, if that's what you want, okay? I'm so sorry. This is Dale. He loves playing Queen's Blood more than anything else in the world. Actually, I don't suppose you would mind playing a match or two with him. Just real quick, I'm not the best player. So I think he's been looking for someone who'll give him more of a challenge. Oh my god, they're making it seem like a senior home where they're trying to keep the, the senior residents in check. Alright, this is the last one before we level up. Can we do it? I haven't tried out the stone golem yet. If it's too hard, I might just take it out and replace it with a, another replacement card. Those are pretty handy in late game. Like this one would need to be paired with the crystalline crab to do anything useful. Probably. I take away the insectoid chimera for now. Loveless? Heat seeker. I'll put down the chocobo and moogle first. They have a crystalline crab. Oh, there's my crystalline crab. Lower. This guy needs to be in the front, all the way in the front. And then we'll we'll put like a crab right underneath him. We have to set it up like that.
I think we should keep going forward, though, because this is looking pretty good. Hmm. Okay, if we do this, and then they put a card down here, we can destroy it. That's one way to go about it. Will you do it? Okay, we didn't need the the minus four in its entirety. But here we go. Oh no, no, we can't put it down now because you stole that spot. Okay, I see. That's right. Then I'll, I'll put the Arch Dragon here. Just so I can show off that, try out that ability a little bit, you know? And plus, it's a... Uh, the Stone Golem, the value itself is pretty high. It's four. It's pretty high. Oh! They have a plus 10 card in the middle there. Maloceros. This is Chocobo Jockey. For them. Okay. I'll have to be really careful then, because that's really quite something. Yeah, mainly want to activate the Chocobo here, I think. Oh, it destroys the card, but it doesn't give me the spot. That in itself is not that useful then. It just destroys it. Okay. Well, I think we got the the lane. Yeah. Hold up, we really gotta take back the... I would really like to take this back, but it's a bit of a waste of the Arch Dragon. I will though, because I don't want to lose the spot. Lost it anyway. Okay. Get some enhancing going on here. The t I haven't put down the Titan yet. Just a note. So if I put down Loveless here... I mainly want to prevent them from winning the middle. Because I really can't let them get that plus 10. What's the best thing I can do to prevent that? This will be a 5? Let me move forward first, maybe. Gigantoad? Well, I'll be... Hmm. I want to get the spot back after they... Because if I get it now, they're just going to take it back next round. If they'll do some something else first, maybe that would be good for me. So this will be... 8... This actually gives us less because the, the boost is a bit better here. The Space Ranger can give us a level 3 spot. This will give us even more. So I'm checking the numbers here. Yeah, it won't give us anything on the bottom. The main thing is we gotta win the middle. We have to win the middle. And if we want to do that, this one gives more. Ah, they put a card down in the middle. They plugged the hole. I can take away the golem to get this spot. It's not gonna be enough. Now I gotta win... like, everything. I'll keep trying. Oh! I made a really big mistake, I think. I should've put the gigantoid in the bottom. I should've put the gigantoid here, on the heat seeker. Yeah. Can I claw back from this? Yes. Maybe like that, right? Oh, but that... That one... Is gonna trip me up. Give me some more replacement cards. Here we go, here we go. Okay, so it'll minus one. Wait, how come I have an eight here, but if I replace this, it'll be a seven, this'll be an eight. I wish I had that bottom spot, but I don't. 
Can I do something with this replacement? Get that middle spot? Yes! It'll take- Ah, uh, I need it, I need it. Yes, because now the bottom row is tied, but I can put a card there. Oh, don't take it, don't take it. Yeah, because now I can put Space Ranger down. Which is gonna make it so that I win all three rows. Oh! Are we good? We're good. Wow, we barely... That was close. I think there were a few... Good few misplays there, but... The replacement cards do make things interesting, huh? Thank you. Thank you for the game. When played, raise position ranks by two. Oh, interesting. So it goes from level one to level three immediately. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen him this happy. It must have been a great match. Shadow Blood uh, Queen uh, Witch That's enough, Dale. He has other things to do, I'm sure. Thank you so much for taking the time to play with him. You know the Shadow Blood Queen as well? Hey, where you at, my boy? Congratulations, Cloud. You have risen to the rank of Blood Marquis. By the way, I recently received a letter addressed to you. Oh God. It read, I'll be waiting for you at the Hotel in the Gold Saucer from a friendly specter. Are they inviting you to play Queen's Blood with them? I wonder. The Haunted Hotel. In the room? In the room. Okay. Oh, I'll I'll be here for a little bit more. I think someone would brief us on these things, considering we're the ones who actually have to look after them. If you're here to visit someone, I'm afraid you'll have to track them down yourself. We're a bit busy. Okay, maybe let's. I think this might be it for the immediate area. Oh, let, let's visit the inn again. Just relax. Nothing to be afraid of. What do we see here? Oh god. Surprise Sephiroth wasn't staring out the window here. Slept here. So, any friends here you want to see? Maybe a girlfriend? Speaking of which, I'll bet you're dying to hear about mine. Am I right? What? Not interested? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you anyway. She's real pretty. No, beautiful. Kind of depends on the angle. <laughs> <laughs> She's just great to be around. She from Midgar? Yep, real city mouse. Zack. Zack Fair. Oh! From Gungaga. Head over heels for Aerith. We fought together as soldiers. You were here with me, five years ago. You came with me on the mission. Of all things, the inn room is triggering all this. Where are you? What happened to you? I think you should talk to Aerith. Don't you want to tell her, Hey, I remember... I remember Zack, finally! You don't want to... You don't want to talk to her about that? 
Really? It's so quiet here. Hmm. Well... We can try. But she wanted to be alone. I'm not sure how fruitful this will be. I know it's not the village you no. know, but it's still nice. This makes this revelation, this big revelation. But... Uh, he's, <laughs> he's still not doing too much with it. Which I feel like kind of happens a lot in this story so far. Like, there will be this big thing and then everyone just goes back to normal. Pretty often. Okay, before we go back to Kate Sith, let me see... Oh my god, okay, bottom left corner, am I fighting the creator? The creator of Queen's Blood? The Spectre. A ghost. Yeah, let me wander around here a little bit. There's not too much else. I'm just gonna grab the tower and maybe I'll... I'll see you when I get over here or, or something. Oh, wow, okay. They don't... They're not letting me leave. Fast travel was disabled. I was thinking, ah, I'll just go visit the tower. Nope. Denied yet again. Okay, fine, fine. I'll, I'll check on Kate Sith. You find anything? No need to wear yourself out. Let's I can't believe this. Oh. What you find? I should have known it was too good to be true. I only have limited access from this console. Let me guess. Limited doesn't cut it. Nope. But all is not lost. Excuse me, good sir. Would you be so kind as to grant us entry into Shinra Manor? Don't you have clearance for that? Oh, if only. I'm but a wee bottom feeder. Barely have clearance to use the bathroom, me. Really? Be that as it may, I can't let you in there myself. You'll have to ask my boss instead. Meaning the deputy commissioner? Or the commission himself? Let's meet and greet. Deputy Commissioner Murasaki is up at the reactor, conducting an inspection for corporate. He's due back the day after tomorrow, but he hasn't been in touch to confirm. Could be he needs more time. Uh, we can't afford to dilly-dally. Then we'll just have to track him down. Agreed. Thanks for all the help, pal. We go in then? I'm, I'm still not allowed to fast travel, so we have to do this. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of robed people when you look at it like this. Oh, everyone's ready already. So, you're headed to the reactor, huh? Headed to the reactor? No luck at Town Hall, I take it? Hmm. Gotta get a key card. A guy named Murasaki has it, but he's inspecting the reactor. Well then, you'll need a ninja to accompany you. I'm coming with. Me too. Really? You sure? It's the reactor. <laughs> Ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. Aww. All right. You sure you're gonna be okay? We're going on a hike and getting a key card. How tough can it be? You'll still be gone for a while. Sure there's nothing you need to take care of? I'm putting you in charge of provisions. Then make it snappy. My materia needs me. This sounds like a big thing. Oh, fast travel is now available. Okay, that sounds like maybe it's a cue for me to maybe just clear up everything we- Hey! Okay, we'll look at you in a sec, okay? Uh, go back- going back to my previous plan. Let, let's go check this out. Eh, this is kinda cool. Yeah, look at that. I'm getting distracted again, that's why we're not at the quest yet. <laughs> and that's all three! Got them all in a row. We can read all of them together, too. What creature is here? Good news, Cloud. That life spring yielded information on a very rare fiend. 
The King Zoo rules the skies of Nebel, oh. and now we know where it roosts. Seeing as this talent terror has been causing trouble for the black robes, I suggest that you clip its wings. Zoo. King Zoo? Not a regular zoo? Avian Tyrant. Okay, we'll definitely get there in due time. We have intel. We should have intel to read. Where was the intel? The readable one. Oh, there were only two, I see. I got this from the Second Life Spring. Nibelheim, a recent history. In the shadow of the jagged formations at the foot of Mount Nibel, the village of Nibelheim had little to offer the outside world. However, their quiet existence would change dramatically with Shinra's discovery of vast reserves of Mako within the mountain. The company's efforts began with the construction of Shinra Manor on a plot of leased land. It was there that the head of research and development, Professor Gass, and his assistant, Professor Hojo, pioneered studies on Mako in Genova. Shinra's financial investment delivered the people of Nibelheim from poverty. Their newfound happiness and prosperity would be short-lived, though, as the entire village was burned to the ground and countless innocents slaughtered by Sephiroth. A perfect reconstruction of Nibelheim was later erected on the site in secret and now serves as a treatment center for victims of Mako poisoning. Nobody's around to remember besides Tifa and Cloud. How unfortunate. Hmm. We managed to get- you know, it actually is kind of fun, bursting around on this jet thingy. Yeah. Okay, but we're not gonna do all of it because I'm gonna get distracted. <laughs> we'll visit that island another time. Snaps, probably around the same time. For now- oh yeah, there's a Moogle house here too. But for now, back to the Chocobo Sage. These are edible, by the way. Yeah, I didn't realize. Oh god, I thought they were little wind current generators, but they're just little things that we can give to our chocobo, apparently. Alright, what's going on here? The chocobo sage. Huh? Cloud? Billy! Billy? What are you doing out here? Um... I haven't had much luck at the racetrack lately. Not the good kind, that's for sure. So I came here to train. Where's your sister? Train? Here? You don't know where you are? This is the home of THE Chocobo Sage! A living legend! Surely you've heard of the man! <laughs> <laughs> Did someone say a living legend? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> You're wearing a lot. You okay, sir? <sighs> I am now. Thought I was a goner. Huh? Mind telling me who you are? I don't get many visitors out here in the boonies. Uh, this is Cloud. He's a jockey for Gramps' ranch. Oh, he is, huh? Perfect. Billy here needs some help. You can pick up the poor boy's slack. There's this big race at the saucer, the Gold Cup, and it's coming up soon. We gotta get in on that, so I came here to bone up. I'm learning all sorts of stuff. See? Hey, tell me you're not buying this choco dung. Picking garbage out of a pool isn't training, it's manual labor. You see it too, right? <laughs> I mean, it is, and I feel like Cloud would call it out just like Yuffie, but I'm very curious what I'll say here. What? <laughs> if anyone oh, he was doesn't talk! It, figures it'd be you. Damn it! This man right here wrote the book on Chocobo Rearing. In fact, pretty much all the major breeds maintained these days are products of his techniques. If you can flap your gums, you can move your gams. Now get on back to your training. Sorry! As for you, I know just the thing. One of my chocobos ran off when we put her out to pasture. Need you to find her. Bring her back. You're asking me? Her name is Selena. Ain't your normal chocobo neither. Loves the ocean more than home. The way she makes rolling waves look like solid ground. No wonder she thinks she's the bee's knees. Our Selena? Please, Cloud, would you mind? Just think of it as a favor for me. You've got a gift for wrangling the wild ones. A bird that runs on water? I already found him. The 
There you are, Selena. Well, I underestimated you. Takes real skill to tame this girl. No kidding. Skills like those of... Hold on. I know this. I do. Why can't I remember? Oh, damn it. This is gonna bother me all day. Oh. Aha! There we go. It was Sam and Will. What? They were far and away my best disciples. As I was saying, you, Cloud, you may well become as talented a trainer as them one day. <laughs> Did I hear you right? Sam, you gotta tell me everything you know oh, about Oh, Chocobo it. Sam. You're gonna give me whiplash, son. The Wall Market guy. The Sam guy you taught. You mean Chocobo Sam out of Midgar? I do, but why do you want to know? Because me and him, we got history. You see, I'm Will's son. Well, don't that beat all. I'll never forget those two. They had such a powerful passion and an eagerness to learn, too. Everything they did was for the birds. That's not the Sam I know. Sam's a demon. He led my parents to an early grave. Got them hooked on gambling. Pushed them to rack up tons of debt. And then... He didn't seem like that kind of a guy. That don't sound like him to me. You sure you ain't got your Sams mixed up? It's a common name, you know. Only one Sam in this business. I swore that I'd humiliate him by winning the gold cup. Destroy his reputation. Then I'd at least have some kind of revenge for what that bastard did to my parents. Hmm. Now that that's out of your system, back to it. Excuse me? You heard me. Thought you came out here to learn about chocobos, not to get revenge. Uh. Cloud, for your next task, I'll need you to take Selena and gather choco grass, oh. which so happens to grow above bodies of water. You kidding me? This fossil's trying to get us to do his dirty work again? <laughs> okay, I've, I've had enough of that coughing. <laughs> Choco grass is a genuine panacea. I kid you not. It'll cure whatever ails you, and then some. And once I am cured, maybe I'll be inclined to share more stories about the good old days. <sighs> He's obviously full of it. If not for him, then please do it for me. I need to know what happened to my dad. <sighs> okay. When I said it grows above water, I meant above. It's called the floating flower, because it grows in the air. But with an ocean chocobo, you can harvest the stuff with ease. 30 tufts ought to do. 30! Best hop to it, Cloud. You don't want my death on your hands, do you? <laughs> I have like five. 30, my god. Seriously? I bet he was scheming against my dad ever since they were both apprentices. Nah, this is gonna be like a... This is gonna be like a Red's dad situation again. Actually, he wasn't that bad of a guy. You find any choco grass? Y'all should have no trouble snagging some if you've got a bird that can walk on water. Yeah, but I don't have 30. My god. Well, you're here too. What the hell? Oh, Cloud. Have you come to brush up on your bird handling? As soon as I heard the legendary Chocobo Sage was here, I knew I had to come. I was surprised to see a recluse residing in such luxury. Even hermits enjoy a dip in the pool. Yeah, they have a whole thing here. Comet Materia, Celestial Spells. Oh, this is interesting. Dark Side Materia. Increased potency of abilities but causes you to suffer damage when they're used. Uh, I don't think I'll ever use that. ATB Assist? Nah. MP Absorption? Comet Materia sounds interesting. If there's anything else I can do for you, please let me know. I'm always happy to help. Can we change here? Another chance for us to use our swimsuits again? Maybe? He was changing up my chocobo. I haven't changed that for a while because I haven't gotten enough of the... 
What is it, golden plumes? Are you here to learn from the sage as well? I might have enough now. Saurian. Blue on blue? That's... Okay. Doesn't seem like the best thing to me, but... What do I know about Chocobo fashion? I've been trying to not buy the previous one so I can save up for one full set. I know the sage is a bit of a handful, but stick with it, okay? It'll all pay off in the end. Yeah, I promise. this guy's bought into the Kool-Aid. We'll see. We're doing this just because we want to know Sam's story and all that. Is it blue on blue? Okay, well, it looks all... Oh, we can change the colors, I guess, but I'm, I'm okay with it. Thanks. Oh. Fancy materia just lying around. Level boost materia. Okay. Well, I suppose I'll keep collecting. I mean, you already saw how we collect the stuff. You're telling me I should be going to do other stuff then, at the same time. Okie dokie. Well, we can... Mm, we'll leave the Choco... Not the Chocobo, the Moogle for now. I'll go back to Snaps. How about that? Yeah, and we'll just start going from here and see where we can see more of those Choco grass. Yeah, it's all over the place. They come by easily enough, I suppose. Except, it could be a pain to get them. <laughs> the snaps is... Like, right here? I wonder if we could have snapped this before even seeing snaps. I wish they made it like the Celestial Photographing Quest. Because I feel like that would make it a bit better than just, hey, opening the photo mode. That's kind of lame. Why don't they just make it so, yeah, I have to photograph some landmark in the distance. That was a pretty good idea for a quest, but... They only used it for the one thing. Uh, okay. I never take screenshots. Well, yeah, because I'm recording. Why would I take screenshots when I'm recording? <laughs> okay, there we go. Now we need to head off over to this island. Yeah, we'll, we'll try to find the divine intel at the same time and kill the zoo dude. Zoo dude, we might need arrow. Arrow as a materia. Yeah, wind. And then Yuffie. Yuffie, you can, do you want to try Comet? Sometimes I don't know what to do with Yuffie's ATB. Because I focus on using ninjutsu for the elementals. Comet, it was a green one, I think. Level boost. It's not even linked to anything. You should probably... We need some more elemental materia for Kate Sith, maybe. He's sort of this... He's just hanging around here for me. Breach. Empowerment. Activate synergy. No, no, no. Maybe I'll steal... I'll steal any enemy skill for now. And we'll see how this goes. I feel like I've had that equipped for so long, but I've never even pressed it once. It doesn't say enemy skill when we use it, right? That's probably why I never get around to... Trying it out, because I don't even know which one it is. Okay, this island here. You can see there's some... Boxes. Is that it? Man, in the beginning, I thought we really had to care about all these different ingredients. Oh, and the rare ones. But even the rare ones come by pretty often, it seems like. The ones with the gold icon. I think we see... No, those are... Are those sanctuary thingies? No, that's just a random chest here. What the heck? Oh, caches. At least the cache gives us a new fast travel location. 
Hey, can you just do it, please? Wait, is it not open up? Oh, it's on this side. I was backwards. Come on, make it work on both sides. Yeah, those Moogle medals will come in handy when we need to talk to the, the Moogles again. Oh boy, I'm looking forward to babysitting. I know they're gonna find some way to screw me over again. For sure. Whoa, is this... where did the... oh. Oh, that's the kicking thing. It has been said that the land of the dead lies just beyond Mount Nebel. From this belief arises the conception of Odin as a gatekeeper of the afterlife. One who turns away all whose time has not yet come. Oh. Oh. Hello? Is it out? No, this is another way to come in. Yeah. It's deep inside this mountain. Okay, I'm just seeing scary creatures left and right. But for the actual divine intel... thingy-majig. Here we go. This is the last one, right? I think this region, there is less stuff. It feels that way. Which is a good thing. We've seen a lot of open regions already. We've seen a lot of this play out many times. That's a weird one. Um, okay. Yo, this one took me so many tries. It's kind of hard. There you go, we got it. Now Chadley's gonna give me uh, another talk about how- Oh, I didn't get the materia yet. I've managed to analyze all the crystals located in Ebel. Thank you for your help. Odin will serve as a powerful ally, whisking your foes away to the land of the dead. Ah, <laughs> you have yet to obtain the requisite materia. As he I is recall, so predictable. You'll first need to confront the divine via the combat simulator. Summoning Odin sounds cool, though. Would definitely love to try it out. Ideally, we would be summoning each materia at least once. Ideally, but sometimes the battles go by so quickly, and it's like, do I really want to summon a deity against? in a battle against a little crab or something. 